Hello, and welcome to C++ Weekly. I'm your host, Jason Turner. I am available for code reviews, contracting, and on-site training. In this episode, I would like to discuss std optional and std variant, and specifically the ability to use them in a constexpr context. Now, I was mistakenly under the impression that they could not be used in a constexpr context in C++17. And, well, that was a mistaken impression. They do have accessors and constructors that are constexpr, but have a couple of limitations. So I will show you what I mean by that. The constructors here, most of them are constexpr. The default constructor is constexpr and the null opt t constructor is constexpr, which allows you to create an empty optional. The copy and move constructors are also constexpr. These templated versions of the constructors currently are not constexpr, but the in place t constructor, which I will cover in a future episode, and the initializer list constructor are, and the regular value constructor is constexpr. And going further down, we get to the operators equals, and this is not constexpr, so you cannot assign to an optional in a constexpr context. And I skipped over destructor. Now, this is interesting one, because to be used in a context for context, an object must be trivially destructible. And optional is defined as being trivially destructible if the type that it contains is trivially destructible. Now, all of the other regular accessors, such as the has value, the conversion to bool, the contained value, and this value or, are all constexpr. So this puts us in a pretty good place for being able to use optional in a constexpr context. We cannot reset it, we cannot swap it, and we cannot call the emplace method on it. So basically we can set a value, we can check that value, and then we can access the value. We can just never reassign the value. And it turns out this is actually not that limiting. So as usual, we have the compiler explorer up here and we're going to set our C++ standard to C++17 and we're going to include our optional header. Let's go ahead and create a constexpr function that returns optional. Now, this is fairly straightforward. We're just returning an optional that is constructed with the value one. And let's see if we can use it. So by putting this constexpr val equals get value, we're forcing this to be evaluated in a constexpr context. And then we should be able to get the value back out and then just return one from main. And that's what we're doing right here. Move one into EIX. So that worked with absolutely no problem at all. Now, what this forces us to do is effectively, if we want things to work in a context per context, to treat every optional as if it were const. So if we were to do something like this, we probably cannot change its value. So we have reassigned it and we have returned the new value and this is still compiling, even though we have done this in a context per context. So let's go back to the docs. Now we can see that there is no version of operator equal that is marked constexpr in standard optional. So this is hypothetically a bug in GCC. And let's see if that's the case. So we have moved to Clang and we have moved to Clang trunk and it is using GCC's 7.2 standard library implementation. And we are actually getting the error here that we would expect to get. Non-constexpr function operator equal cannot be used in a constant expression. And 
that is again the error that we expected. So let's go ahead and set the standard lib equal to lib C++ and try to use Clang's version of the standard library and this is also working. And it seems even if we go back a version, this continues to work. So we're going to have to see what's going on here and see who is correct. Now we have gone to the draft C++ standard sources that are available online, and we can in here find hopefully the optional library. So here we are in the optional library header for the standard library and we can look and find the operator equals in here. And here we can see that none of the operator equals assignments that exist in optional are actually constexpr. So we do have a bit of a quandary. Why is this able to compile on some versions and not others? So as far as I can tell from reading the header, this is actually a bug with the standard library implementations. So let's go and look at Variant. Variant has approximately the same kind of constexpr capability and limitations that Optional does. So we can see that we are getting this assignment variable error here. I'm going to comment this out. We're getting this non-constexpr function operator equals is being called in a constant expression. And let's go back to the GCC standard library. And we're getting the same error there. And if we go to GCC trunk, then we are getting the same error again. So this would appear to be a bug in the optional implementation, but variant is approximately the same. And if we get rid of this, we can see that we can in fact use variant in const expert context and optional in context per context, we just must use all types that are trivially destructible and can themselves be used in a context per context. And for portability, for sure, be certain to not reassign the variant or optional inside your context per code. And to be fair, there's probably not much reason to. It is always possible to work around immutability as some languages have immutability as a default. You just have to have some sort of switching construct that decides which value to return. So we can continue to use our algebraic types that have been provided to us in our C++ 17 and moving forward standard libraries, and we can apply constexpr consistently throughout our code while using these and limiting the amount of branches that we have and using a more declarative style as Ben Dean proposes that we should. So thank you for watching this episode. Be sure to subscribe, follow me on Twitter, and check out any of the links for other videos.